Greetings everyone, this is Arctic Fox 223 here with a special pen tablet review. So today I'm going to be reviewing the XP Pen Artist 12 drawing tablet. I'll be doing this in the perspective of artists who already own screenless drawing tablets, who may want to upgrade to display drawing tablets, and new artists who want to get into digital art for the first time. So let me get this out in the open. I've been drawing six to seven years now with a Wacom drawing tablet. My most current tablet is the Wacom Bamboo Create. So the biggest pro for me when purchasing the XP Pen Artist 12 was the price. Considering most display drawing tablets go for around $300 to $800, depending on the brand, you can purchase the XP Pen Artist 12 for $250. So here it is in all its glory. No, not frisky. That's my cat. The drawing tablet. So with this tablet, you get three power adapters, a cord with two USB and an HDMI hookup that connects to the tablet and power supply, a USB extender for the power cable, a manual, a glove, a pen holder, and the best thing about this tablet is the pen has a eraser end. You do not have to charge it. It does not require batteries. So that was my favorite thing about this. Oh, and of course you get the display tablet. So first you go to XPPN's website and download the correct driver. Install it onto your computer. And then you will connect the display tablet correctly as shown in the manual. I will say that you may not need the power adapter if your PC or laptop has enough USB connections. The next thing you need to do is push the power button. When I first turn on the tablet, it was set to duplicate my laptop display. I then set it to extend the screen in display settings. However, the XP pen did not work correctly. I would try to draw, and the actual pen would draw one to two inches below where I was actually drawing. This, however, was corrected by going into display settings once again and setting the display to 100% resolution. I use paint tool side mostly for my work and also posed a problem. The eraser did not work as intended with paint tool side. This can be worked around, however, with the express keys located on the side of the tablet. It did make it easier to access the tools I mostly use when I draw. The XP Pen Artist 12 screen is very glossy and it gives you the sleek feeling of drawing on glass. I'm not going to get too much into the technical aspects or color levels or anything like that in this review, but I will say that the pressure levels were not what I'm accustomed to when I'm drawing. And I had to adjust in order to get the desired effect. So as you watch me draw one of my characters named Wolf, let me go over a few things to consider when purchasing this tablet. If you're making a transition from using a standard tablet to a display tablet, your workspace you have grown accustomed to will change. I'm right-handed, but I normally put my references on my right. This is impossible to do on this display tablet because my hand blocks the display on the right. The Artist 12 also does not come with a stand. You may think this isn't a big deal, but after one to two hours of hunched over and drawing on a flat surface, your back will probably begin to hurt. I would advise everyone who gets this tablet to get the stand too sold separately it's around fifty dollars also if you're purchasing this tablet thinking that your art will improve dramatically don't expect much to change i draw just the same as i would on any other tablet or piece of paper all this comes down to is what you prefer personally i will say also that Having a screen when doing line work was awesome. For you newbies out there who are wanting to draw digitally, I will say for you to get the XP Pen Artist 12 over any other tablet. The reason being is the learning curve isn't as stiff as with a standard drawing tablet that has no display. It's cheap, very well made, and it's a blast to draw on. Overall, I would say that the XP Pen Artist 12 was a great purchase.
and I will be using it, the Artist 12 for years to come. If you're one for scores, I would give the Artist 12 a 8.5 out of 10. If you have any questions about the Artist 12 or my setup, you may ask me in the comments below. Also, if you would like to see more videos and tutorials, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and until next time.